Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Um, today is Wednesday and it's our baking day, but today we have a dentist appointment. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of baking, plus I don't need that much food because we have so much stuff in the freezer still. So I'm, we still have energy bites from the a month and a half ago from the last time we made um, monster cookies and so there's lots of treats we still have snack mix but one thing I noticed my milk is going to expire this week and so I don't have a whole lot of space to freeze that but I thought I'm gonna get my popsicles done. I thought why do I have so much milk and it's for all my popsicles so I thought I cleared some space in the freezer so I can put a large pan in there and freeze some of our pudding pops so that is what we're gonna mix up today so what we did um, we already made some right here these are the the pop I got this stuff right here these were four for a dollar at our discount store, and so we got the peanut butter chocolate ones. So I made those, those are in here, so now we are gonna whip together the birthday cake. So what we do is we do three packages at a time, and then it's, I use one and a half cups of milk for each one. And so I'm gonna mix up one and a half cups of milk, mix it up, and then I added half of this for three packages, and then uh, just stir it together and put it in little cups. And if I can stick a stick in it right now, I will. I don't know if it'll hold up, it probably will. If not, I'll just wait for about an hour and I'll stick a popsicle stick in it. There is our pudding pops. So that was super easy to make, and um, this way I was, if you saw the chocolate ones versus the vanilla ones, the chocolate ones you can see are a little more clumpy. I let the children mix those up and then I waited for a few minutes and then I put them in the container, and that was a lot harder because it was flopping, but these ones I did real quick myself, and they helped, and then I poured it. It's a lot easier to work quickly instead of go slow, because otherwise they're clumpy. And so we got more of the white ones than the chocolate just because I was able to pour it instead of clump it. So that's good, this is how we make these. I'm gonna freeze these solid and then I'll place them in bags. I think I've only got space for one pan in my freezer, so I'm gonna freeze these now, let them freeze up, put them in bags, and then I'll do some more. And then, um, what else today? We have dentists, we're gonna do some Hawaiian haystacks. I'm finally gonna make the Hawaiian haystacks that uh, the lady recommended here on here, so we're gonna try those tonight. So I'm trying my green smoothie here that I made, I got from those frozen vegetables, or frozen fruit, I don't even know who makes it, Joel. The bags I got the distance for, not bad. This one was a little different. The first one was watermelon, coconut, much tastier. This one I had to get used to because they had the green in it, it was kale and um, more like tropical fruit and bananas and apples, but it's actually good now that I'm having it more, so not bad. So I just kind of eat that in the morning. And then over here I made my rice up because I was going to be gone today. I made jasmine rice. Here's my chicken so it can thaw out for our haystacks. And I'm going to use cream of mushroom soup. That's my homemade from the freezer. And then I got out my lechoy noodles so I don't forget those. So that's going to be today's dinner. When I get home I will do a video of how we put those together. I also mixed up sandwich bread today. So this is um, chicken. Shredded chicken and a bag of the ground up lunch meat, that ham and salami I got. I ground it up and I put some sweet relish in it and salt and pepper. And there's that. And that we're going to put on crackers today for lunch. When we go to the dentist, we'll take it with us. Or some will have it on bread. So that's lunch. So I've got breakfast. We did French toast, pulled out of the freezer. This will be lunch with some fruit and some veggies. And then dinner will be the haystacks. So it'll be a good day, a busy day. It's almost time to leave. We're going to get our chores done, get a little bit of school done before we go, take some with us and then um, enjoy our afternoon at the dentist. And then uh, hit, there's a discount store over that way that I don't usually go to, so I'm gonna go there. 
Um, look and see what kind of goodies they have, and then probably hit a Goodwill too over there. There's a nice one over there, and see if we can find anything. So, and then we'll be back, and it'll be church tonight. It'll be busy, 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 and a nice warm day supposedly. So, we'll keep going. So it was a good day today. We went up to a couple Goodwills, and we found some really good deals. I needed shorts for um, my older boy because he's gonna be going to the camp and working in the summer. So I found a bunch of shorts, which was great. Every single pair fit him, which was awesome. I needed some for the little boys, and I got all their shorts and tops for them. And then I found a bunch of shoes. I got some Columbia hiking like lighter shoes for myself for three dollars i got some sandals for steven i got um some nike air jordan shoes and some adidas shoes so really good deals for 2.99 couldn't beat that so i got them they were a little bit bigger but i'll put them away great condition so it was a good day i feel like okay we got some good stuff we didn't spend that much we did that okay so we went to the discount store and we ended up getting um they didn't have i didn't get anything there actually i got bologna because i had bologna a dollar and i got a huge can of pumpkin the big giant cans for five dollars but that was it there was nothing else there but it was okay it was on the way so we thought we'd stop so that was good and so now we put dinner together we've got um tonight's wednesday night for church and we've been doing like a haystack meal on wednesdays and that works really well so this is what we got for dinner tonight so we're going to come down here maddie so we've got haystack dinners we're going to do rice we're going to do chicken i put some refried beans in here too because i wasn't sure if the kids would like the chicken this is cream and mushroom soup with a little bit of milk we made that homemade i'm going to have lettuce celery green onions, chow mein noodles, pineapple, and cheese. So we got this, these are some sides. I had some cantaloupe left over. These were English muffins I got really cheap. I just put some cheese on them, thought they'd eat them, and we had corn on the cob. So just a throw together dinner. I know like not every meal looks perfection, but I've got the beige colors, then it goes to green, and we got some orange and some yellow. So I'm just missing red. <laughs> so, but that's good, we did really good. So this will be dinner. I'm gonna make one right now, and then, um, we will try it. I'm sure it's delicious. I can't believe that it will be yucky because haystacks are really good. So we'll do it and then we'll uh, have dinner. This is how we're gonna make it. Okay, so we're gonna take some rice. So put rice on the bottom. And then we're gonna put some chicken. And put a little bit of cream mushroom. It was a cream of chicken or a gravy, but we're gonna do this one because this is what I had in the freezer. And then lettuce, this was overflowing in here. So we're gonna put some lettuce on with a big chunk of lettuce there. And celery for crunch, some green onions, and then some pineapple. We'll put that on the top there. There's a Hawaiian haystack. And then we do some cheese on top with some chow mein noodles. So that's it. And then we can do a side with some bread if they want to do some of these. A couple kids like the cantaloupe. And then we'll do a thing of corn. I'm trying to use the stuff in my freezer. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna try it because I want to try and see if it's delicious because I've never had this. So we will try it. Can I try eating on camera? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow, oh, that's really good. Okay, that's really good. It tastes like a pineapple chickeny, like a Hawaiian dish. So that's actually really yummy. Hmm. I like that. Okay. That's dinner tonight. Let me do another. Hmm. Okay, this is definitely a keeper. I wasn't sure if I'd like the pineapple, but that gives it like a, you hear the wind going? I wasn't sure if I'd like the pineapple, but that gives it a nice fruity flavor. So, very good. So, okay, so we're gonna eat. I sent the kids out to take the puppy because I got three girls in here and they're all pre-teenage and they're awesome. They're having fun, which is great. So I said, go outside and walk the puppy so I can do a quick video and then we'll eat. So I've got this for dinner. I had some tater tots, sloppy joe kessel, because my husband doesn't particularly love his eggs. He does, but I don't know if he'll love this, which is fine. So I had um, sloppy joe tater tot casserole from yesterday, and he loves that. So he's gonna eat that tonight, probably. Maybe he'll have this, I don't know. And then we will clean up, and we will go to church, and it'll be a good night. It's beautiful, it's like 80 something degrees today. Gorgeous, wonderful, warm weather. So it'll be a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video with our pudding pops. I'm gonna go get those out of the freezer, probably tomorrow, put them in bags, and make another batch up, and then we're gonna be having hay sex tonight. So, Hawaiian hay sex. Thanks for the tip. The person that told me it was really good. So, okay, you guys have a great day, a great night, and we will uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Into the oven, and we'll set the timer.